Hello guys and welcome. This is uh, Bart13T casting, Bart13T recording tonight as well. This is a members replay between 5-1 versus ICW, which is 5-1 versus I Can Win. Uh, I found this on our forums today and there was some good reviews about it. Should be a nice length game and some good action. I like the lineups I got, but we'll start with uh, Team 5-1 here. Engineer, Blacksmith, Ophelia, Slither, and Defiler. Against ICW Soul Stealer, Jerezaya, Accursed, Plague Rider, Soul Reaper. Um, I'm going to start with the Hellborn here. Uh, a really traditional strategy, something we don't really see a lot anymore. But basically, what their team right now is seeking to do with the use of Soul Stealer is look to just utilize him as a solo hard carry and get him some huge items, get him some nice DPS output. And then when it comes time, they're just going to look to get into those team fights. Soul Reaper's got a nice heal. You got Jarazai's magic immunity and heal. And Accurse is a major support hero. And I think the reason for the Plague Rider pick is not only for the armor buff, but as well as that ultimate. I mean, when you have a hero like Soul Stealer who can go in there, shoot his ult, and do a lot of damage really early on, that's something that really kind of coexists there with a Plague Rider pick, which I really like a lot. Um, let me start with the Legion team now. Looks like we got Engineer and Slither. Slither being in the middle lane, I'm guessing they're looking to use him as a semi-carry and get some good output damage from him. Not going to be looking to get a Frostburn because that will uh, interfere with his toxicity, but I'll get back to that later. And then Engineer down bottom giving him that solo lane, so they're looking to use him as a bit of a carry as well. Uh, he's definitely got the items for it. Starts out with some nice agility and minor stat items. Give him a little bit extra damage in lane and a little bit of extra extra HP, get that good survivability bonus against the Jerezaya Soul Reaper. He's not going to be getting off too many ganks. And looks like he's going to have to use a lot of regen as Soul Reaper procs that first uh, aura spell there. But it looks like he's doing alright for the start. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on that. Ophelia in the jungle. So she's probably going to look to slop, slide into this bottom lane here and maybe just harass uh, Soul Reaper and Jerezaya, get him out of the lane, give Engineer a little bit of free farm. Uh, we got Soul Steer in the mid working his way up. He's already on four souls. So doing a nice job up there. And this lane up top, I'm going to have to give it again to the Hellborn. Just a lot of survivability and escape power. You got that Plague Rider nuke that allows for the slow. You see he's got his extinguish first, so they're looking to really keep the lane back as far as possible. Get some good ranged last hits, but nothing really more than that. Against Blacksmith to Philo, though, that's going to be a tough lane because you're going to have the uh, stun and the flaming hammer from Blacksmith, which will be minus magic armor and then that huge nuke damage. And then you got Defiler to follow up really with that... Uh, that excellent nuke power there, but a curse could be in trouble now. He's getting a little bit overconfident there with that shield. Starting to take a, a good amount of hits there. He's got enough to deny himself though, so I doubt we're really going to see anything too bad happen from him. There's some Plague Rider harassment on Blacksmith. Oh, a big powerhouse in lane Plague Rider, really. He's got infinite mana pool. Great, great harassment with that nuke. As you can see, against a Blacksmith Defiler, it's going to be doing a lot of damage early on here. Looks like a curse is in the back, looking to just eat up a little bit. And Engineers managed to hold these off. I mean, Jarazaya, really low HP. That is, he's going to eat his first tree coming up here. Um, Engineer going for pretty standard build. He's got a, his keg in his turret. You know, nothing really out of the ordinary just yet. Um, I'm really surprised, though. I, I usually do see keg tinker, especially in a solo lane. Uh, but I, I, it really is personal choice at this point in patches and whatnot. Because... Uh, I mean, really, the turret's not completely useless anymore. As you can see, he's going to get the Tinker there. So, really swapping off right now. An Engineer, a strong hero, has the ability to carry a team I've found uh, in my recent experiences with Han. Uh, get that Thunderclaw up, and then the Charged Hammer. And really, that turret still has the ability to put out a lot of output burst damage, and that really can hurt teams, especially this team. I mean... That chain lightning bounce is going to do that much extra damage when it comes time in those team fights, and that's really what they're looking for. They're also looking for Engineer to pop down his ultimate to get a little bit of a counter initiation, because if Soul Stealer is going to go for that blink dagger, then as soon as he jumps in, they're going to look to throw down that Engineer ultimate, so that way the rest of his support hero team has to run through that silence, get a nasty silence there, take some damage on their way in, which will allow for the Legion team to really set up better. And I think they have a little bit better AoE. Um, as well. You got that Slither ultimate to do work. Uh, I already covered Engineer, really. That turret's the only other thing that's going to contribute to that damage, but Blacksmith's got that nice magic armor reduction to really increase that NG ultimate, 
And, uh-oh, we might see our first blood. Blacksmith's in a bit of trouble. And it looks like the tower's going to snag it, so no bloodlust. Uh, getting a little bit overconfident there, trying to get Plague Rider and a Cursed here. Both low HP, less than 50. Plague Rider, interesting build. Picks up a Trinket of Restoration, a Minor Totem. Um, I'm guessing he's going to look to get that Astrolabe up really quick so they can use that heal more than anything. Soul Sealer doing a nice job in the mid. He's got his bottle. He's got 15 souls. And he's going for that traditional Soul Sealer build from what I can see. Just swapping between that Demon Hand and the actual Soul Seal. And it looks like he's going to snag a, an Ophelia in the river. But she's got the haste. And that's the reason for that missed nuke right there. And he could be in trouble if he decides to stay. Looks like he's going to pull off, though. But here comes Jerzai into the forest. But now he could be in trouble. There he goes. There's that nice heal. And one more auto attack there is going to seal it on Ophelia. But it looks like she's doing a nice job of really utilizing that haste. And she gets the bloodlust. Well done by Ophelia to kind of turn that around. That's 5-1 uh, with the uh, kill over Jerzai. And Ophelia really did a nice job kind of microing with the, uh, the haste there. Soul Stealer manages to get Ophelia. But Slither comes up from the middle lane, shoots his slow, and gets the kill on Soul Stealer. So an advantage really for the Legion side there. They get two kills. Uh, they allowed Soul Stealer to get a kill, so he didn't really lose too much on that. But Soul Stealer dying, again, not really beneficial. Uh, something that is definitely notable is this top lane right now. I mean, Blacksmith Defiler have been up there for a good 30, 40 seconds, maybe a minute, just getting solo farm because Plague Rider and Accurse decided to both run back to base, which is a huge, huge loss when it comes into the laning phase like that. Um, but it looks like Plague is pretty much dominating that top lane with Accurse. Like I said, that survivability is just really what's going to keep him up in that lane. Curse could be in a bit of trouble here. Gets nuked, but shields just in time to kind of avoid that. Now it looks like they're going on the offensive. Do a lot of burst damage there to Defiler and Blacksmith down both half HP-ish, um, roughly. But she's got that uh, health potion if she absolutely needs it. Engineer down bottom, getting a good decent bit of solo farm. He's got some boots, some duck boots. So he's got he's got some good farm. I mean, he is level six, so you can't really complain here. He's already getting to level four and a level three. He's managed to keep those two heroes down. And XP is obviously in the Legion's favor right now. I mean, you got two solo lanes and Ophelia in the jungle. So, I mean, that's really what they're looking to do. Get that big advantage and kind of just plow through these support heroes. As you can see, Engineer almost just... Well, not almost, but... He would have been able to snag that kill on Soul Reaper had he have maybe had some extra burst damage. Maybe that turret, maybe the ultimate. But it's really hard to say because you have Jerezai in the lane with that extra heal. So, I really can't say. But it looks like they're trying to, trying to get an angle on Engineer here. Jerezai kind of lined up in that side for us there. But he'll be ready for it. He's got his keg if he needs to. He can use that to escape. Yeah, he's getting pretty hard harassment though. And I'm guessing as soon as this creep wave really gets into that tower, they're going to be looking to push. Turret goes down. So that's going to do a little bit of damage. Get some creep kills. And here comes Jerry Zaya. Jerry Zaya now in. Looking to snag a kill there. But instead he's going to just kind of tank these creep waves. Taking a nice bit of damage there. Uh, but he does manage to snag that, and up top, I missed it, but Defiler Blacksmith get a kill on Plague Rider, and Accursed almost goes down as well, but I want to keep my eyes on this lane, because if they can uh, get this lane down, there's you got a Tinker on the tower, so that's doing a little bit of extra damage there. Hit some nice bursts, that might be able to hold them off. Uh, looks like Engineer's got to go back to base, though, he's got a low HP. We got Plague returning to this top lane. Which is excellent because uh, they really need to just kind of survive up there, get some XP. Not really trying to get kills. And I think that's what's costing them these, uh, these hard hits. Is that there's points in, in this game is where they're just running up trying to snag kills. Not really there, but I mean, a curse could be dead here. No. And yeah, because that shield's not going to really cancel that. Uh, oof, 8 HP. So he's just barely sneaking out of that. Oh, he shielded Plague Rider instead of himself, which is interesting, but... Nonetheless, um, he is alive still, but let's go bottom now. Here comes Ophelia through the back. And there's the hold on one. There's the stun. And Keg misses, but he man Engineer manages to snag the kill anyways. He's got Steam Boots. And it looks like we might see some push, which is something I forgot to cover. That this Legion team is a really strong push team. Ophelia, Engineer's turret does hit towers, I believe. If not, it does help destroy creep waves all the faster. You got Slither's Wards and Defiler's Ultimate, so this really is a strong push team, but I'm guessing they're looking to use the support AoE kind of to just really outlast it, and now Slither 